case with how to build your own home. I'm in the Netherlands right now. The word Netherlands means the lower land and lower land means that they have to build on swamp. So it's just about everywhere you go throughout the, the Netherlands, you're gonna see these trenches of, of water just everywhere. And that's where all the water drains to. So I came by a build site that I thought was kind of interesting. As you can see what they have to deal with here. They're gonna build this home on, or building, I don't know what it is, but they have to build it on piers. I'm kind of interested to see that they have piers that are square and not round. Usually you can drill a hole, put in a rebar, pour your concrete. But uh, I know that there's sand here. We just came and visited a castle over that way and the entire castle was built on sand. So this whole building is gonna be built on sand basically. But you have to have those piers go down a certain amount of depth in order to have the stability you need. Uh, so I don't know how deep those go. But what's interesting, you can actually see water, water down there at the bottom of that. And it's being pumped out into all these pipes. You can actually hear it being run through those pipes right there. They've got to constantly keep the water being pumped out of there until they have all their piers in. And then of course, maybe they can backfill against it. But near the bottom of those piers, uh, it's gonna be moist all the time. Underneath all these homes, it's piers. All these homes throughout this entire area are built on piers. And I could walk you over here and show you. And here's kind of the gravel that they'll put around the piers get all that so they got a sort of a drainage system away from it but you can see I thought this was interesting that's how much water is coming out constantly they're having to pump that out constantly while they're while they're building and then of course they dump that in this canal right here so canals everywhere throughout the area here in the Netherlands. So anyway, you can see across the street here, canals everywhere. So I don't think I'd want to build in the Netherlands. It's, uh, it's a real challenge. Having to just literally two feet away and you've got standing water. I mean, your water table in some places in the Netherlands, you are 12 feet below the sea level. So that means that you're constantly dealing with water issues. I mean, constantly. And when it rains, all the water slopes off on these fields and it goes into these canal areas and it keeps uh, uh, hopefully the water away from the home, away from the buildings and Hopefully they can last a long time. But they do build here for a really, really, really long time. You can see this building right here. Right there. And that building is on piers of some kind. In uh, Amsterdam, all of the homes are on oak piers, literally oak piers. And they're now starting to rot after about 150 to several hundred years. So they've got a lot of restructuring to do, which is kind of a challenge. But you can see the water coming out of the creek here. It's being pumped out and it's being dumped into the creek constantly. Can you imagine a job site where you are constantly having to pump water out just so you can get the build started and hopefully get the piers in and then backfill? I can, I can imagine how that adds to the to the construction cost of, of building a home. So, and I just wanted to share that with you. I'll be heading back home tomorrow. Again, these canals everywhere. It's like every 80 feet, probably every 100 feet or so, you see these canals everywhere throughout the country. And it's all pretty much level and flat like this. So, interesting. I, I've been really impressed with a lot of the way these they build out here even despite two feet down you've got standing water so interesting little, little thing i learned in 
wanted to stop by and check out that job site. Just the way people deal with building and the way they deal with the environment in a different country. This is Keith with How Build Your Own Home. Just giving you a little sneak peek at what they do in another part of the world.